In today's tutorial we are going to learn Sciography of Prism. So without any further delay, let's get started. If you are new to this topic, you can watch my previous video about Introduction to Sciography, Sciography of Point and Line and Sciography of Plane. So let's start with example number 1. A regular pentagonal prism of side 3 cm and axis 6 cm long is resting on one of its base with its one vertical face 11 cm away from VP and parallel to VP. Find the shadow profile of the prism. So first of all take a look into 3D representation. We can see that the shadow is completely falling on ground and starting from the base of the prism and upper base and two vertical surface are lighted surface and rest three are shaded surface. Now name the upper base of the pentagonal prism as A, B, C, D, E. We can see that the shadow profile is generating only because of four point A, B, C, D and shadow of point E is merging into it. Let's understand it by drawing the sciography of the prism. So start with the drawing of basic orthographic projection and name the upper base as A, B, C, D, E and lower base as A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 respectively. And now draw a light ray on point A in plan and extend it to the ground line. Then draw a light ray on point A in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point A in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane and wherever it strikes the light ray of point A in elevation that point is the shadow of point A that is A dash. Now repeat the same process for point B, C, D and E and join the point A1, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, D1 to get the final shadow profile. We can clearly see that the shadow of point E is merging into the shadow of point A, B, C, D. Now has the shadow profile with light intensity line. Example 2. A cylinder of dia 5 cm and axis 6 cm long is resting on its base on HP. Find the shadow profile of the cylinder while the distance between VP and axis of cylinder is 9 cm. First of all take a look into 3D representation. We can see that the shadow is starting from the base of the cylinder and curvilinear at the end and completely falling on the ground. Now divide the upper base into 16 equal part and name them 0 to 15. Now we can see that the shadow is generating only because of point 0 to 8 and the diameter 0 8 is making an angle of 45 degree with VP which is perpendicular to the light ray falling on the cylinder and the shadow of point 9 to 15 is merging in between the shadow of point 0 to 8. First of all draw the basic orthographic projection as per the given condition and draw a diameter at 45 degree against the direction of the light rays. Now, Divide this semicircle into 8 equal part and name them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now draw a light ray on point 0 in plan and extend it to the ground line. And then draw a light ray on point 0 in elevation and extend it to the ground line. In this particular case, light ray of point 0 in elevation strikes the ground line first. So it will move straight in horizontal plane. and Wherever it strikes the light ray of point 0 in plan, that point will be the shadow of point 0, that is 0 dash. Now repeat the same process for point 1 to 8 and join the base of the point 0 to 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 dash and base of the point 8 to get the final shadow profile and hatch it with the light intensity line. So this is all about the sciography of the prism, I hope it will be helpful to you.